Hi, welcome to Abacet Math. In this video, we'll look at a few tips for working with exponents in AMC questions. So let's take a look at our example problem. Suppose that 60 to the a power is equal to 3, and 60 to the b power is equal to 5. What is the value of this expression? OK, a tough number 20 question, and not obvious at all how to proceed. I mean, this information here looks pretty clear, but not sure what to do with this mess. So let's pause to review a few tips on working with exponents. Here are my top three tips for working with exponents in the AMC. First up is that you usually want to convert all radical signs to rational exponents. So if, for example, you encounter the expression x cube root of x all square root, you want to convert this expression to rational exponents, in this case, x times x to the third, to the one half, and simplify where possible, in this case, x to the two thirds. And this final expression is much simpler to work with than the original nested radical expression. Now, in doing the simplification, you want to check for any domain restrictions arising from the square root operations. In this particular example, the original expression is defined for both positive and negative x, and the result of the operation is a positive number, and that's also true for the final expression, so we didn't encounter any problems in this particular example. But that's not always the case, and there are some examples you need to watch out for. One is the example square root of x squared, which using these rational exponents reduces to x, but only for x greater than or equal to zero. And if we reverse the order of operations, x squared square root, we find this is equal to absolute x for all real x. Now a second tip is to convert to a common exponent base whenever possible. So if, for example, you encounter the expression 4 to the 2x over 8 to the x, you want to recognize that both 4 and 8 can be written in terms of a common exponent base. In this case, the common exponent of 2. 4 can be written as 2 squared. 8 can be written as 2 cubed. So you want to make those substitutions to simplify this expression in this case, to 2 to the x. Now a third and final tip is you want to be careful with exponent parentheses. So you want to remember that, for example, 5 to the 2 to the third with these parentheses is not equal to 5 squared to the third with these parentheses. Now this is the more common form of parentheses in the AMC, and when you have this more common form, you can use the multiplication rule for nested exponents to bring the 3 down and write this as 5 to the 2 times 3. Now once you've written this, written this as a multiplication, you may also notice that you can actually bring the 2 back out as a nested exponent, 5 to the 3rd squared. So in effect, when you have this form of parentheses for exponent, you can effectively swap the position of the 2 and the 3. Now finally, what happens if you don't have any parentheses? What if you encounter the expression 5 to the 2 to the 3rd with no parentheses? Well, it turns out by mathematical convention, this is defined, little triangle is the definition, is 5 to the 2 to the 3rd with this parentheses orientation. OK, so let's see how we can use some of these ideas to help with our example problem. Now in our problem, we need to combine this information somehow. And it looks like it would be helpful to convert these expressions to a common exponent base. Now it looks like we have two options. We could either express 60 as 12 times 5 in these two expressions, or we could express 12 as 60 divided by 5 in this last expression. Now I'm inclined to do just one substitution, so let's write 12 as 60 divided by 5 and see where that takes us. So 60 divided by 5, 
to this exponent. Now I notice there's a common factor of two in the denominator, so let's pull that out and see if that simplifies things a little bit. Okay, so we're probably one step closer to solving this problem. The 60 is certainly an improvement, but we're still stuck with this five, and we really need to get rid of this five and try to replace that with some power of 60 by whatever means possible. Now we do have to notice at this point that we are given some information which allows us to express five in terms of a power of 60. So this is definitely a good idea to try to advance this problem. So let's try to express five as this power of 60 and substitute that into this expression. And now using the division rule for exponents, we can write this as 60 to the one minus b, again to this exponent on the outside. And this is for probably the first point in the problem where we see we're on the right track, because we notice that we have some cancellations in these nested exponents. We have the factor of one minus b on the inside and the outside, so we can simplify this further to find this is equal to 60 to the one minus a minus b over two. And now we can notice we can bring the factor of one half to the outside and create the nested exponent 60 to the one minus a minus b to the one half. And now using the division rule for exponents, we can write 60 to the one minus a minus b as 60 divided by 60 to the a, 60 to the b, all to the one half. And now we can use this information to substitute numbers for these exponents. All of which works out to four to the one half, which is equal to two for choice B. So notice how the first part of this solution involves converting to a common base, even though you're not quite sure how that's going to advance the problem. Now the second part is mostly algebraic reduction, which leads you to the final answer. So please check out the description section for a few more tips and practice problems. Uh, take care, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.